Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to explain multi-threading in C Sharp. So sit back, relax, and well, enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Alright, alright, alright. Threads. A thread is an execution path of a program. We can use multiple threads to perform different tasks of our program at the same time. So when we begin a program, we have one thread that is running, and that is named the main thread. To work with threading, include at the top, using system.threading. So let's get the current main thread that is running, and I'll assign this to a local variable of the thread data type. Let's say thread, main thread, equals thread dot current thread. So this will assign the current thread that is running to a local variable named main thread or whatever you want to name it. So I'm going to change the name property of main thread to equal, let's say main thread. And then I'll display this with a right line statement, main thread dot name. And the name of this thread is main thread. Here's our job. Let's say that we need two timers to run. One is counting up from zero to 10 and the other is counting from 10 to zero. One is counting up, the other is counting down, but we need both of these timers to run concurrently. So if we were to write these both on the same thread, this is what this would look like. And then later on, we'll have these timers run on different threads. So let's create a countdown and count up method. Public static void count down. And then I'll need a for loop to iterate 10 times. For int i equals 10, then I will continue this as long as i is greater than or equal to 0, and then decrement i by 1 during each iteration. And during each iteration, let's say that timer number 1 colon space plus i plus seconds. Now we can actually have our current thread that is running sleep for a given amount of milliseconds by typing thread dot sleep, then pass in how many milliseconds you would like your thread to sleep. So 1000 milliseconds for one second. And then when we escape our for loop, let's display that timer number one is complete. And we'll also need a count up method. So let's copy count down, paste it, change down to up i is equal to zero. We will continue this as long as i is less than or equal to 10. Increment i by one during each iteration. Timer number two. Timer number two is complete. So let's invoke both count down and count up. So remember that these are both running on the same thread, our main thread. And when we complete our main thread, let's display that main thread dot name plus is complete. And I'm just going to hide this line here. Okay, let's go. So we have timer number one that's running currently. Timer number two has not started yet because these are both running on the same thread. So timer number one is complete and now we're working on timer number two. And now timer number two is complete, our main thread is complete. So if I would like both of these methods to execute at the same time, I would need to create some additional threads. And here's how to do so. Thread, let's name this thread one, equals new thread. And within the constructor of our thread, let's pass in the method we would like to execute. Thread one is in charge of counting down, and thread two is in charge of counting up. So each of these threads has a built-in start method, which we need to invoke to begin each of these threads. Thread1.start and thread2.start. And we can get rid of these. We now have one thread in charge of counting down and the other thread is in charge of counting up. And our main thread is still running in the background. So our main thread is complete and we have one timer that's counting down and the other that is counting up. And as you can see, these are both running at the same time concurrently. 
So if you have a method that has parameters, there's one additional step. Let's say that we have, I don't know, a string name or something. We don't necessarily need to use these. Okay, so we can't use these as they are currently. So what we're going to do is within the constructor of our threads is pass in what is known as a lambda expression. So parentheses, arrow, then the name of our method, countdown, parentheses, then any arguments if there are any. Let's say, I don't know, timer number one. I probably won't use this at all, but this is just for an example. Okay, let's do the same thing with thread two. So we have a lambda expression, parentheses, arrow, and this is in charge of counting up and pass in, I don't know, timer number two, I guess. I might have to make a separate video on lambda expressions. Okay, let's try this again. So this should work. All right, there we go. So yeah, those are threads. A thread is an execution path of a program. We can use multiple threads to perform different tasks of our program at the same time. When we begin a program, we have one thread that is running and that is referred to as the main thread. So yeah, that's multi-threading in C-sharp. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's multi-threading in C-sharp. Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.